Welcome to day two of the student recap in needing a new beginning and a new beginning needing a new consecration and a new dealing. Now, what do we mean by a new beginning? Well, I believe that if you've been regenerated, you've had your first new beginning with the Lord. You've received the life of God, but there are so many more new beginnings that you'll need. The Christian life is not a life of one new beginning, one course and one end but many new beginnings, many courses, and many ends. We can see this in Song of Songs. In Song of Songs chapter 1, verse 2, we have the lovers proclaiming to the Lord, let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth. It's the first beginning. But by the time we get to chapter 3, verses 1 through 4, the lover is seeking the Lord, but cannot find him. What does this mean? Well, that stage, <laughs> that first new beginning, ran its course, and has come to an end. See, whenever we feel dissatisfied or dry or old even, this means that the beginning, the course, and the end, that stage has come to an end, and we need a new beginning. What does this mean? This means we need to turn back to the Lord and say, Lord, I need a new beginning. But even some more so, when we sense this dryness, deadness. We need the Lord to make us fresh. What do we do? Well, we consecrate something to the Lord. You see, usually when we feel dry or dead, it means that the Lord is speaking to us, saying that, to us that something is preventing more fellowship. So we must give it to the Lord and consecrate that to the Lord. And then we will be fresh and new with the Lord. I really enjoy this section and I can't wait to read on See you on the spring. Bye, guys.